hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. Oh, dude, I'm about to kill it. Uh, Madden 21. Oilers. Oilers. The oily boys. Jonas decided that he didn't want to do the face of the franchise because we were on the Steelers. Oh, F. I was going to do at least an episode or two. Uh, we might. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I forgot I was thinking about doing a couple of those to see what happened, and then like I just was in so Madden brain this morning that I just started uh, playing these. It's fine. I understand you hate the Steelers. Yeah, dude, I hate a lot of things. The Steelers were like actually my second favorite team. I know it's because you stink, dude. Uh, I lived in PA for a little while. I mean, I, I and that's a legit reason. I lived in Pittsburgh for like a few months, and I decided that that's why I hate them even more. It's like if you live in Pennsylvania and everybody's rocking it and it's on TV. It just TV. looks bad. Everyone looks like they have like a disease. What is that? They're wearing on the Steelers? Yeah, because they're wearing that gross ish on, uh, their, on their chest, dude. Like, what's that stuff growing out of your chest? That gross golden yellow stuff. Oh, that's called an undefeated season, I believe is what that's called. What? They, they don't have, have an undefeated season? They, are undefeated they have right more now. Super Bowls than anybody they else. Have, they're undefeated right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they oh, lost one. I think they lost no. one. Are they undefeated still? Yep. Oh, man. That makes me... God, I don't... Ew. Well, you know, also, it's fine that the Browns lost to them because everybody else they've played has lost to them. Uh, too. yeah. I was actually... It was funny. I was talking to my buddy um, yesterday. Yeah, he called me. We hadn't chatted in a while. He called me. I was running from work. And he hasn't really been watching football this year. Um, but he's a Browns fan, and he's like... And I told him what I've like what I've thought is like, yeah, they've the Browns have basically played every bad team in the league this year. Except for the Ravens and the Steelers, and they lost thirty-eight to six and thirty-eight to seven to those two teams. Mm. And he was like, "Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been telling people too." He's like, "If they play the Steelers and Ravens again, and they put up a fight, they've gotten better. They're a decent team. But if they play the Ravens and Steelers again, and they get blown out by twenty-five points again, yeah. they may make the playoffs, but they're just going to get embarrassed in the playoffs by uh, whoever the hell they play." All right, if they make final seed, they will play the. <laughs> Final seed? That is sounds that, hot. What you is know that? what they call it? <laughs> Last seed. Oh, the play, they make the playoffs, you mean? Yeah. They make uh, the they, they've actually added a, the number of teams that go to the playoffs this year, I think. They, they changed it. But, oh, they extended the season a little bit, huh? Well, they didn't extend the season. I think it's just it's, there used to be two teams that got a bye week. If the, the two best records didn't play the first week of the playoffs, mm -hmm. now I think it's only the number one seed doesn't play the first week of the playoffs. Um, so I think they added one extra like cons uh, like consolation, like you're kind of okay. For being top league guy. Yeah, so, because there was a lot of instances where teams would win like 10 games and not make the playoffs. And you're like, dude, you won 10 and lost 6 and you don't make the playoffs? That seems kind of unfair. Yeah, that's not cool. There was one time, I think a team won 11 games and missed the playoffs because just so many teams in that division won so many games they got bumped out due to like some that's, randomness. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Yeah, like you, how you win eleven games and you don't make the playoffs. Like I would like be like, dude, I quit. You won the popular vote, but you lost an electoral college. Right, exactly. That's essentially <laughs> what it is. Because the team who won a division only won like eight games and they make the playoffs because they're the division winner. But you have a better record and you don't make it because you're on crack. I kind of feel like they should uh like shake it up a little bit, man. Switch some divisions around. Can we gerrymander ger divisions? Um, I don't know, but that would be interesting. But there's a lot of purists who are like, this rivalry's been going on for 100 years. And literally yeah. some of them have been going on for 100 years. And all that's, of a sudden, they don't play true. each other anymore. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Like, all of a sudden, if the Browns and Steelers never played each other again, it'd be great for the Browns because they suck. But, like, <laughs> you know, but, like, the, the Packers and the... Bears, I think, are the one that it's been around for a hundred years. This team's yeah. been around so long. Yeah, yeah. I just like to see us play like the Raiders twice, twice well, a year. Well, we, the how they do it is, you play everyone in your division twice, twice, yeah, and then you play an entire other division once, once, yeah. Well, but two or like two and a half divisions or something. So every four years. You play every team or something like that. Yeah, but that's that's so weird to me. I, I mean, I get it that you don't get a lot of games in well, football. Well, right. It ain't anyway. like basketball. They ain't playing 82 games. But we play every team, what, like eight times or something? But I, I, I don't know. I guess maybe every team. I guess you can't even do every team once a year. 
No, because he'd have to have 31 games. Yeah, and that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they have a hard enough time making it through 16, let alone 30, 31. And yeah. So, so it's it's a lot of it is like luck of the draw and striking while the opportunity is hot. If you have like an easy path to get into the playoffs because of the teams that you have yeah, for the it's, year, they don't even deter. It's not even like they go into the off season and go, okay, the Browns are trash. Let let's give them a mediocre schedule next year. It just it's like next year they play the AFC East and then just if the AFC East is good, well then, that yeah, sucks. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have if a bad not, season. Then, but the, just this year they play. They play uh, a lot of teams that are trash. So, like, what division are they playing this year? They're playing the NFC e- NFC East, which the Giants are really bad. The Cowboys lost Dak. Pre- they beat the Cowboys with Dak Prescott, but they weren't playing great. And then now, I mean, the Cowboys are trash because they've lost Dak, Dak Prescott. The the Eagles, the Eagles haven't been playing very well at all. And then the foot, Washington football team, who's not very good either. No. But one of those four teams is going to make the playoffs with like probably like an eight, uh, eight and eight or nine and six yeah, record. Yeah, that's Cause true. Because one team from every division has, has to, to make it. Yeah. You send the best from your, your, your division. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're like, oh, God, sometimes the best ain't very good. And then who else did they play? What other division? Uh, the Raiders division. But I, I don't know if they only play two of those teams or all four because they don't play the Chiefs. And the Chiefs are in their division. Oh, God, third away. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think who else they play. But, yeah, it was they played some bad teams. Too. But, hey, if they, if, they, if they can say they made the playoffs, that's better than they can. I mean. Right? Right? It still counts, man. That ring that ring is still. Uh, do they get a ring for making it? Do you get a playoff uh, ring? Like, a, like, a, like, a, like one of those, like. Second place Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> they get a trophies. little a, a medal, a medal of honor. Yeah, they get like one of those like four inch trophies that all the guys on the top are the same. And it says like you place <laughs> strike. I like that. Yeah, I don't know what you that. Play. They probably they, get a bonus of some get, sort. They get a participation. I mean, well, if you make it to the playoff, you're playing more games. That's bonus right there. Yeah, and yeah. then playoff games probably pay more than uh, I would imagine than yeah. a season game because obviously. <laughs> and they might get just like a flat bonus rate for making the playoffs or making the divisional round or making the championship. I know. Yeah. Oh, look at this! Da, 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 that is called can can dancing. What about can't can't dancing? Ooh, that's what you can do. That's yeah, what I do every day. Yeah, you do that very I well. Can't, I can't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's a. Uh, I forgot the Steelers were undefeated. And yeah. Well, currently, this is it's what is it the twentieth? Well, but think today? of it this way though. They do play. If the Browns have been playing a bunch of easy teams, so have the Steelers. So that's have true. the Raisins because they all have they all play the same teams. Yeah. Just in a different order. That's true, but they're out, they're out there feeding right now. Oh, yeah. they're they're demolishing teams like that's, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Striking while the iron is hot, man. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, the Browns like the first like five or six games were scoring like thirty, almost four. They scored forty in a game, and then the last like three games they scored like seventeen. Mm-hmm. See, the problem is when you win a lot of games, when you score a lot of points, it's easy to win. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> and when you score no points, Imagine it's not that. as easy to win. Yeah, because then it falls on your defense. Right, exactly. Their defense is decent, but, like, yeah, if you're only putting up eight points, it's hard to win. Mm. <laughs> your defense can't be that good all the time. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm totally talking about the Browns over Houston Oilers video, by the way. I like that. How are the Houston Oilers doing this season? Uh, They're dead as always. Because they, they don't exist. <laughs> wow, Jonas, that's awful mean to say about it's the Houston true, Oilers. They don't exist anymore. Like a redhead, Jonas? What is? Is that what you no, mean? No, I mean because the Oilers are gone. They're now the Titans. No, I, I, and, I yeah. know, I know. Yeah. I was just, we beat I was the, the Texans. You. We, we beat the Texans last week, though. They're the new Houston. Team. We did beat the Texans, but they're also week. trash this year. Yes, they. Every they're, team they're, is trash. They're, dude. They're, they're trash every year. Let's keep it a buck. They've been no nope. okay. <laughs> A couple times. <laughs> they've been okay. <laughs> they've never been elite. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> they have never been elite. You know what's funny? You know what I've been thinking? What's that? <laughs> Is when we play, played like whole seasons of teams, Yeah. most of them we've been undefeated. Now, yeah. th- this, this, this year in Madden, like, I decided after we played the Browns to try to do five different franchises at once where, you know, we jump between the, the football team, the Chiefs, the Browns, these guys, whatever. Sure. Every team I've lost with at least I've once. No- Some I've of them I've lost twice. I've and maybe no- that's because I can't, I'm not in the rhythm of, like, knowing the team. 
Uh, do you play with the same playbook? For I do, team? but not all the teams have the same strengths at the same positions. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes the running backs aren't as good as the other running backs, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah. I, it helps mix it up for me, so I like it. Yeah, so you know, you got you got to figure out who's the who's the strong person on the team. Right, and, and I only play with each team once a week, so <laughs> so it's hard to like really get a groove on them. Where before I play five games in a row with the same team, and by the fifth game I'm like, oh yeah. Steve Jones, dude, he's running it to the right really hard, bro. You can spin move like a phantom in the mist. <laughs> That's what I a think of when I play this game. A phantom in a mist. You think phantoms spin in the mist? No, Tasmanian devils do that. Dude. They should make a Taz movie. I'm sorry. I have got off the football I think subject. What I think is they should make a Taz movie, and if you have a Tasmanian devil tattoo, you should be able to be an extra in the movie for free. Wow. Even if you're just like a guy at the food court. like every That should be the shtick of the movie is that every human in it has a Taz tattoo. Ugh. Ugh. It's so cringe. I know. Dude. It's super cringe. It's just, and when you said like a bunch of them, it just made me cringe just can twice you as hard. imagine the type of folks that would gather at an area where it's like it's all Taz tattoos? Ugh, dude. And maybe we could put Tweeties too. Ugh. Taz tattoos and Tweety tattoos. And the thing is, is that there are, I feel the numbers definitely dwindled as ta Taz has fallen out of favor. Taz was a Looney Tunes character that would just make. Could you give me a quick Taz? Give him a quick Taz. <laughs> no, I can put some effort into it. I don't know what he does, dude. I haven't watched that in forever. You don't know what Taz does? <laughs> like that's what he did. Dude. I'm not he doing talk. it. I, I'm not doing it. I refuse to, to subvert myself. But he would just be like crazy, and then he spin into tornado, and then he would like eat anything that came in the. Yeah, there'd be like random him. animals, and he would just eat them. Which Trees. Is, yeah, dude. He would go through the center of a tree. Yeah. And leave a little tornado mark. Yep, through buildings. He, he could disease. He, honestly, he has a pretty sweet superpower. Probably one of the better ones in, in all of the uh, <laughs> Looney Tunes uh, CU. Meta. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, there's definitely people with Taz tattoos. And Yeah, there. I have a story. That, that is like, just most nuts. of the time, the, like, we've talked about this before. Like, if you have a Taz or a Tweety tattoo, you know, you might fall into a certain genre of person. Because. <laughs> I mean, what does just, that mean? Because <laughs> like black people or something? Asians, I I Asians that. rocking no. a lot of tats. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to put race in? Is it ju Jews? Oh, it's Muslims. Yeah, that's what it I is. I didn't realize Muslims were rocking. No, it's not any of those. No, uh, but there was like there was this uh, <laughs> girl that used to be an exotic dancer oh, at a place that used to go. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, go. Keep going, and but she, stop. She, she was actually like, uh, uh, me and my buddy used to go there and hang out and just drink beer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she was actually pretty cool. Like, she would always just hang out and talk with us. But she definitely had a Tweety Bird tattoo, and I think it was on, like, the top of her butt cheek. Oh, my gosh. And, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and and I judged her silently about it, like, constantly. <laughs> but she was, like, she was fun. She was, like, you know, like, sometimes, like, you go into a place like that, and like you, and there's some of the girls have like a really good personality, but they just love to like banter and just be kind of a holes to you. Like you can just be like a holes to each other, like just because that's kind of the personality they have. Yeah. She was that kind of chick, so she was fun to just f around with all the time and just yeah. like say like she would say ignorant ish to me, and I would say ignorant ish to her, and like it, we just would have a good time. But I was like, I just never took it to the Tweety Bird tattoo. I just couldn't d dig myself <laughs> deep enough to be like. Well, you got a tweety tat. <laughs> I, li I like that. I like that uh, type of banter with a, with a female escort of her caliber. <laughs> right. It's dude. like going to one of those restaurants where they just like talk crap about you. Like, yeah, right. Exactly. Like the hot dog stand. Shut the f uh, jump. We're out of ketchup. And yeah. Right. Just like, oh, you want some ketchup? They squirt it in your face. <laughs> and you're like, here's the money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they squirt it in your face. <laughs> hey, I want go. some ketchup on my hot dog. Open your mouth, B, and they shoot it in your mouth. <laughs> That would go a little far, I think. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not into that to kick you in the balls. <laughs> and that's when you open your mouth in the paint. <laughs> they scratch. <laughs> just kill you with the hot they, dog. They glizzy your throat, <laughs> dude. They're just, just like, here's your glizzy dog. <laughs> just suffocate you until you're unconscious with a glizzy. <laughs> Take your wallet. Suffocation by glizzy. <laughs> Yo, that's a we, that's the business we need to get into. <laughs> Killing people with glizzies? I don't I don't want to murder anyone. It's not. It's assisted suicide. Stop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, you want to? <laughs> They're coming to our restaurant. They must want to die. That's how they want to. They want to uh, be euthanized. Is with yes, a glizzy. Yes. Oh, glizzy euthanation. <laughs> He just, if everyone wants to, like, put down an animal, put down a person, he just glizzy him to death. 
Gliz- Glizzy Euthanasia. Seems legit. I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I am not about that. Not about it? No, I don't want to be implicated. Like, because if one of these pop ups sh- no, should pop up. Oh, the copycats. Like, all of a sudden, we're yeah. going to copy. There's going to be eight Glizzy Throat uh, Euthanasia places. Yeah, I don't need Glizzy, glizzy Throat. Here I came with Glizzy just Throat. Just wanted to. Just wanted to reiterate that statement. <laughs> God damn, all I have is a case of glizzy throat again. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you got a halls? How do you how do you contract gl- glizzy throat? Uh, Ex- explain to me that one. Oh, after you throw too many glizzies. No. If you only get it. That's how you knew you throated too many glizzies. It's because you wake up the next day and you got glizzy throat. What does what does Glizzy Throat do to your throat? Does it just like put a film of Glizzy I've juice on it? I've never had it, so I don't know. I, I'm, we're going to stop because the word has lost all meaning at this point. <laughs> <laughs> glizzy doesn't even mean the same thing anymore. Yeah, it's a hot dog. I know it's a hot dog, but it doesn't even sound right now. No, it doesn't. Right. We said it so much. I don't. I don't know what Glizzy Throat gives you, but I uh, I just know it is not good. No, it wouldn't be good. No, dude. Any excess of anything is too much. I figure it probably dilates it a little bit. Yeah, you got a, a swollen, plump throat, dude. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit. Don't of a- you <laughs> ever say you got a swollen, plump throat to me. I was speaking to that I, proverbial But the you, words not came you. out of your mouth. <laughs> That was fair. a direct quote, and it is not acceptable yeah, that's in fair. this house. That's fair. that's fair. Even though it wasn't directed at you, I could see how it would come as it was. Yes. That is gross. Like forever, etched in time, it will be in the record books that Jonas, to me, in the, in the house, <laughs> said, you got to, I don't even remember. I don't even remember, remember what it was. Either. <laughs> Something gross about plump and swollen, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Describing a throat as plump is disgusting. <laughs> that is really gross. You know, there's a there's a guy with a fetish for it though. A plump throat? Yeah. Is that knows. really a thing? <laughs> Probably. What isn't a thing? That's true. I feel like a light a bulb thing? neck, and you're like, oh yeah, I got some light bulb neck videos. Uh, on there. So you got those big goiters that stick out the side of here? No. Oh, okay. I thought I was basically like, dude, this is just a Adam's apple. Oh. <laughs> That's all it is. Some people are into that. I uh, I cannot recount the time, but I do remember of the age of thirteen when I learned that an Adam's apple meant you were a dude. Yeah. Only dudes have those. Yeah. Because I used to think everybody did. Yeah. I learned late in life. Yeah. Well, For, yeah, sometimes I have the way you learn it is uh, unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> throat mechanics. Yeah, dude. The ladder. Well, that is all the time we have for... <laughs> Aw, it's a big <laughs> It's a boy. long one. Yeah, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. Do Twitch with him. TNT Dynamite. Uh, Twitch TV uh, backslash TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Yes, sir. For Hang out. TNT. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are... Uh, oh, uh,